Alright, let's go. I'm gonna add two minutes. Who can get more people for $100? Alright, two minutes to go, let's go. introduce the team so you all and then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna break y'all up in groups all right and you're gonna be able to rotate all right so we're gonna have a section um, that's talking about Airbnb so for those of you that want to learn about Airbnb let me first introduce to you my lovely go. Queen Kong So the, the basics I did provide, I provided um, travel size shampoo, conditioner, toothpaste, mouthwash, and then in my guest room there was a, a three drawer sir light tote set, and then in there I kept extras, toothpaste, mouthwash, um, towels and washcloths, batteries, because you just never knew when you walked in, you had an entry table. I left um, disposable mask out for them, hand sanitizer, Lysol spray. They didn't go and put a bad review online. They were just like, I like how you did this, I like how you did that, and they were just like, invest in better pillows. I encourage people, if they do that, that's at your own risk, because some of those neighborhoods are HOA, some neighbors do complain, some neighbors do watch, and then you just don't know if the guests are really gonna treat the property as if it was yours. So you just don't wanna get an eviction in the middle of, you got a booking come the next day and somebody say, oh, we have to terminate the lease. So that's why I just prefer to use our home or get another property. Give that to one more time. All right, my man Z-Raw, stand up Z-Raw. Z-Raw, Z-Raw, Z-Raw. All right, so for those of you that want to learn how to make money in wholesaling, right, how you can make money by sitting at home or at work on the phone like you always do, but this time get paid for it. Uh, but he's going to teach you all how the wholesaling business works and how you all can make money in wholesaling. So make sure you all go see him first. Where you at, Zeron? I'm going to ask you a question with a question, okay? Okay. How frustrated, I'm going to answer you while talking to everybody, okay? How frustrated are you? that you're gonna find something else. So you're not finding anything there, right? So where are you gonna find what you need when you need it? So there's many different sites out there. How much money are you willing to put in to get the education so you can go forward and do what you need to do? And that what you know, who you know, that's, no. I, I used to believe in it, but then I started gaining knowledge. And the more knowledge that I got, put me in rooms with people. I was like, oh snap. I've been doing this 15 years, and you know more than me, you only been doing this five. So that's you on. All right, y'all get up to my man, Victor. All right, so for those of you that want to learn about the construction process, and you want to know, all right, so when it comes to flipping a property, we want to talk about actually the construction, the permit, and he'll kind of give y'all a little bit, just a little teeny bit of how that process works. You don't walk on water if you stay on the boat. You, you literally gotta get off, right? And everybody can talk about what they wanna do. I wanna be this, I wanna this. The dreams are over, stop the drive, right? That's one thing about Dominic that he pushes is the potential out of people who don't know that they have it. But you don't know what you have until somebody pushes you to that. Right? So that's, that's the type of atmosphere that you get when you come in the flip game. Like, we're not gonna baby it, we're not gonna tell you, oh, it's okay, let's get it. All right, give it up, give it up, bitch. All right, here we have Andrea. Andrea, raise your hand, Andrea. All right, so if you wanna learn about to actually set up a business, right, because you shouldn't be investing in real estate as an individual, you should be doing it as a business, I should kind of give you all some tidbits on how to set up your business, right, and how to organize your business. So we're gonna have um, these corners all set up for you, and we'll do uh, 10 minutes, and then you all will switch around. All right, good? All right, and at the end, I will talk about how y'all can go in the private room and have a one-on-one -on -one session with me, and we'll kind of go over some things for those of you that are really serious about this thing. Sounds good? Also, I forgot, if you want to know how to get funding for your flip, all right, Andrea's gonna talk to you all about victory funding. 
uh, and how uh, we can help you if you need funding for your flip, for your project. All right, so she'll give you all of that. Your house is your bank. Right, you go through, you look at the house, you, of course you pull the comparison. Well, that's why I have this for you guys. So you can take this and look at it and break it all down. And you come with a balance sheet, which you submit to the hard money as a spreadsheet. All right, so, all right, let's rock. Y'all, I'm assuming that y'all want to be their buyers, right? No. Because I say that because they're going to be the ones finding deals, right? They wholesale and they find the properties. Yeah. Now they need some buyers that's going to buy these properties from them that's going to flip them and turn them and make a profit, right? So, like, I never understood, but then it makes sense to me. Everybody has different levels of risk tolerance. Right? Yeah. And everybody's patience is different, right? So for instance, um, I remember when I got a wholesale deal, um, we bought the property for, I think, 55000 right? The wholesaler made $5,000 off the deal, right? In my mind, I'm like, man, why didn't they flip it themselves? Because they made five, but we made 75, right? The difference was they made five and did nothing. We made 75 and had to do everything. 